Welcome back. We're going to be doing this scribble on text effect. Let's get to it. Drag the fusion com to your timeline. Go to the fusion page. Drag in the text plus node. Let's drag that to the viewer and type as usual. Mad. Let's find a font and uh, script that. Let's increase the size a wee bit. There. Now we pull in polygon node. We are going to put in three polygon nodes for each of the letters. Now for this M, you'll see that the scribble goes on like this and goes on and crosses this line here because of this crossing i'm going to add another polygon node to cover for that so i'm going to rename the polygon nodes right click on this call this m1 click on m1 and start drawing we make sure that this is selected we also make sure that this is unchecked for all the polygon nodes The reason why we're unchecking this to make sure I disable shape animation, this essentially means that if I make any change in the shape of the polygon node, it doesn't change throughout the length of my comp. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Let's I drag this polygon node here. Let's just drag this to the viewer. Let me draw anything. Now this is on already. It's as in my go to this frame now and I feel like oh this is not perfect maybe I played back and it's not perfect and I drag this a little bit here and I say oh yes it's perfect now guess what if I go back to this frame it reverts back to this if I play it you see it gradually deform to that shape so that's why you have to uncheck this whenever you drag the polygon node because by default DaVinci Resolve will enable the keyframe assuming you want to animate the polygon node Let's go back to our text. Now we click on M1. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's go to 100. Yep. Now let's trace the first half up until here. So I click from outside of it and I start tracing it. We go to M2. That starts from here. Then for the A, start from here. So I try to follow how I'd probably write this text. So I'll probably write the A from that point. Then for the D, hold down the middle mouse button and drag. Then I click on here. Then you know that when you draw it like that, then you now go here and draw that. So I'm going to have to move this to this 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 then go here start drawing this and we're done it goes back to m1 this and i'll go to this icon here Select all the nodes. I press Shift S on the keyboard. I have a trace of that. Let's drag this to the viewer so we see what we've done. I uncheck solid and I increase border width. Now, to be sure that the border width is the right width, I connect that to the text, drag the text in here, and I keep increasing the border width till it fills up. What I now do is I make sure that this doesn't show to make that happen. Click on side, let's see, I drag this in a bit. No, drag it in a bit. Bit here, bit here. Um, let's trace it. Let's go to M1, go to length. And you see that this is overlapping with that, so we drag this 
down here so it doesn't overlap. So we go to length again. Okay, drag it down. You see that there's an overlap here. Pull this back. Pull this back too. So trace that up till we get to the end there. So we're good on that. Let's go to M2. Connect this to text one. Go to M2. We go here, select all the points, press Shift S. Then we go to here, we uncheck solid, increase border width to the fields of the text. I think that's fine. And we start from this end, from the length. So we see this is overlapping with that. So we drag this down a little bit. And we can click on this to shorten that. And drag it up till it overlaps, then put it back a little. Drag that like that. Just pull that. And then we start. Drag that down. So let's pull this. In here a bit on my back. Now you see this part that's overlapping. Go fix it. Let's just get this to connect to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in a polygon node in between here and here. So I click on polygon node. It adds that in between here. Then I'm going to click and say delete that. So I click on this and go to this polygon node. I go here and I say subtract. Go to this text and go to this end now. Go to length, it goes like that, like that. You're done with M. Let's go to A. Let's connect that to the text plus node. Go to A. So now that we have this done, we need to merge all this together and connect it to the text node. I'm going to use a merge node with this. So I'm going to drag text node here, connect this to the foreground, connect this to the background, drag another merge node, connect this to the foreground, and connect this to the background. I drag another merge node, connect this. Now see that it's connected to the mask node, wrong. I want to connect, so I disconnect this. Connect this to the foreground. And then I connect this to the mask input of the text. And for all of them, I keyframe length as zero. Length at zero. Length at zero. Length at zero. And I go to perhaps 25. Increase the length to one. Increase the length to one. Increase the length to one. And increase the length to one. I'm going to do 50% of fit. So you get to see everything. Let's play it and just see how it looks. I 
I said the link wrongly. Sorry, my bad. So for each of them, I can just select all of it. Go to spline, select all the length, gentle fits. Instead of having to redo it, I just select everything, and I do this thing here called reverse. Just reverses it. So. And while we are here, I can just press F, select everything, press F on the keyboard to smoothen it out, and close spline tool. Let's go to keyframes. Let's do a little dance. Let me drag this up. We have some space to do what we need to do. Expand this. Click on here so we see what we're doing. Expand this, expand this, expand this. Now that I've expanded everything, what I will do is drop the keyframe to the length to about 50 for all of them. So it's 25 frame across the board. The first M1 starts followed by M2. So I select this, I drag it to where M1 ends, then the A follows that too, drag it to where that ends, then I, and the D will be what will end it all. Go there, and I drag that there. Close keyframes, look outside of there. Let's see what we've done. Play. So this basically is how we do the scribble on effect. It's a bit intensive, but when you see what you've done, it really looks nice. I hope you've learned one or two things, either from the scribble on effect or how you use masks and combine them or the keyframes and all. Thanks for watching guys and have a nice one.